50 goddamn seconds of Disney-related logo sh**. Fear. Treachery. Bloodlust. Movie somehow knows all three of my safe words. Also, narration. I would make fun of carrot days, except I spent time growing up in towns that had corn festivals, strawberry parades, and deep fried days. Yes, it was Indiana, so... Even for ribbon ketchup stage blood, this is excessive. Back then, the world was divided in two. Vicious predator or meek prey. An animal can be both, though. A fox might eat a rabbit, but an eagle can eat a fox. The moral is, avoid birds. Bunny cop! That is the most stupidest thing I ever heard. Oh look, a racist fox. We have one of those in our world, too. Just 211 miles away stands the great city of Zootopia. Roll credits. You ever wonder how your mom and me got to be so darn happy? Nope. <laughs> Once in remove for causing legit laughter in me before the four minute mark. If you don't try anything new, you'll never fail. Yeah, tell that to Michael Bick. Impossible even for you to become a police officer. If the mother's voice isn't credited to Bunny Hunt, I will lose all faith in humanity. Your dad, me, your 275 brothers and sisters. Requisite rabbits f a lot joke. Present and accounted for four minutes into the film. It's great to have dreams. Yeah, just as long as you don't believe in them too much. This is honestly excellent parenting that will surely be presented as overly protective parenting, even though, despite the movie's message, not every child is a special snowflake. Us predators used to eat prey! So what do they eat now? Am I supposed to believe they're all vegan? She read a book and somehow became stronger and faster than all the other recruits. This is cute, but isn't a feasible representation of an actual fight in the real world with a rhino. Trust me. ZPD's very first rabbit officer, Judy Hox. God damn it, you couldn't resist the animal's specific last name thing? I suppose the mayor here is Mayor George Rohr, right? Also, with 80-some million rabbits in Bunnytown, it's impossible for them to all have pun surnames, meaning we lucked out that our main character has one. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Did FDR exist in this world? Was there an animal World War II? The population of this one community is almost 81.5 million? It's not like the predators didn't serve a purpose. Also, another bunny's like sex joke. Hilarious! I'm gonna take off a soon for some pretty inspired animal pun band names but I'm going to immediately add one back for Judy using what looks like an old iPod shuffle with a touchscreen. They couldn't give her a f***ing iPhone. Also, I would have thrown in Cat Stevens, but that's just me. If that's a Fishtown market, does that mean they're buying fish at the market to eat? I guess since this is a mammals-only party, the fish still get to be food. Whales and seals really lucked out on this one. This song's lyrics are dangerous and not the kind of message I want to send to my college age bunny or young viewer. Try everything? Even prostitution? Needle drugs? Burger King hot dogs? Her breasts should be down by her groin. But at least the number is right, because Zootopia made me Google how many teats does a gazelle have. Here you went, you little dickens! Fat cop that likes donuts cliche. Also, overuse of cliche cliche. Our first bunny, Officer Hops. Parking duty. Dismissed. Parking duty? Movie wants me to feel like this is because she's a bunny, but would most first shift cops of any race be put on parking duty? Isn't it a rookie slash hazing thing? It must be a giant pain for a giraffe to go anywhere in this town. Profiling. <laughs> That's actually disgusting. We reserve the right to refuse service to anyone. Did we really need to set this scene in a mid-century style ice cream parlor? It's a little on the snout, isn't it? Are your customers aware they're getting snot and mucus with their cookies and cream? <laughs> How could they not have been aware? Did they look away the entire time their was being prepared? A jumbo pop. Fifteen dollars. I'm sending any world where a single jumbo pop costs fifteen f***ing dollars. Jesus. Hey, I don't have my wallet. Discount fantastic Mr. Fox. Why are popsicles for animals human-sized? I get the lonely apartment imagery, which is intended to underscore how helpless and hopeless she feels, but why does a bunny rent a human apartment in Zootopia? Aren't there grass plots to rent? Carrot fields? Lettuce bed and breakfasts? This is basically the same room Tom Hanks stays in in Big. Everybody hurts. Let me guess. R-A-M? Also, super timely radio station songs are super timely. Carrots are actually high in sugar and aren't good for rabbits, though this movie decides to cave to the history of Bugs Bunny and carry on the lie that bunnies love carrots. They don't. Carrots kill bunnies if eaten to excess. So, f*** you movie. You've just killed Officer Hops, dickheads. Oh, she's not a real cop. Our prayers have been answered! She knows how they feel. Do they have to be such in-your-face assholes about it? Also, no one in this universe understands how being a cop works. You go to the academy, pass the test, then they give you a badge. She's a real cop. It doesn't matter, she's a meter maid. Yeah, you're a real hero, lady! Hilarious, but how does this tiny mouse's tiny mouse car navigate the same roads as a large owl? Oh, forget it. Everyone keeps hating on the bunny cop and not recognizing the value of having a small, fast animal as a cop. Let's see the rhino do this. These buildings have no foundation, allowing them to topple like dominoes. You did stop a master criminal from stealing two dozen moldy onions. Hate to disagree with you, sir, but those aren't... 
Onions. Judy would be amazing at cinema scenes. I thought those were onions. Life isn't some cartoon musical where you sing a little song and your insipid dreams magically come true. So let it go. In case you didn't realize, Frozen was popular. Leads, none. Witnesses, none. And you're not in the computer system yet, so resources, none. How is she not in the computer system? She's been an employee for a little over a day. It sounds like the Zootopia PDHR department is terrible at its job. Good luck getting that first paycheck. Also, I guess all those traffic tickets are gonna get thrown out. <laughs> I am just a dumb bunny, but we are good at multiplying. Har har, bunnies have lots of sex. How many times is this movie gonna go back to that well? Yes, this giraffe stuffing of this hippo volleyball is hilarious. My question is, how does this match ever take place? Is the Zootopia Intermural League utterly biased against hippos and other short animals? You didn't happen to catch the license plate number. Did you? Tommy Chong Yak actually caught the license plate number despite being a Tommy Chong Yak. They're all sloths? Hilarious DMV is slow joke from Pixar is only about 12 years too late to be timely, but whatever. Good slow is slow joke, y'all. Three solid minutes of the sloths are slow joke that wasn't even super funny to begin with. You come here unannounced on the day my daughter is to be married. The sin isn't for the Godfather reference. It's for the fact that this is actually in the middle of the night. Oh, Even Ethan Hawke laughs at the ex machina coincidence of this. In order to make sense, this Disney movie is going to have to pass through one of those goddamn Tim Burton films. Who's that beside her? Who is it? What? Zootopia's got talent. Carrots, you saved my life. I'd be surprised too. The rabbit was able to hold on to that fox that's twice her size, and then conveniently flip him into a series of vines that did not immediately snap or come loose upon their landing. Then they fall into these conveniently fall-breaking leaves that keep them from plummeting to their deaths. Did these vines just break their fall, and tie them up in a spiral thing. Two days to find the otter, or you quit. That was the deal. Badge. Sometimes characters in movies are assholes just because the movie needs a bad guy. This is one of those times. 10 left. Holding both your hands up to indicate 10 doesn't work when you only have eight fingers. Being muzzled sucks, I get it. But why does it take him so long to rip that muzzle off his face with his two good hands? Oh, mutton chops. A sheep saying this is the equivalent of a person saying, oh, meaty ribcage. Where does that road go? Well, wherever it goes, they have to be running out of traffic cameras to look at, since I'm sure they're outside the city limits at this point. Judy, a police officer, doesn't have a flashlight and has to resort to using her phone. Marks, I mean, what kind of <laughs> Damn it, jump scare. Go back to an insidious movie where you belong. Chief Bogo handed out 14 missing mammal files. They're all here. Am I supposed to believe that in this giant sprawling city, all of the missing person cases are related to this one case? Chief Bogo doesn't know. How handy the main character happens to catch one of the main bad guys on video. Can you swim? All drains lead to the mountain. They survived this. Even in Zootopia, celebrities interject themselves into situations they are unqualified to address. With all due respect, a good cop is supposed to serve and protect. I appreciate Disney trying to tackle all of these delicate social issues, but I'm afraid we're about to reach critical mass. If they start talking about Darfur or something, this movie might just become Sean Penn. Know what this reference is? Breaking Bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I can cross that off the bucket list. You have a bucket list, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you speed. This movie is full of survived events that shouldn't be survivable. Run. Run. Get them. Even in Zootopia, the cops are corrupt. Is this art imitating life, or life imitating art several years in advance of said art being released? Main character running away trips on some stupid and falls down for a cheap moment of tension cliche. Gosh. Think of the headline. Hero cop killed by savage fox. Does this museum not have video surveillance? Aren't you on camera right now laughing about your great criminal victory over Officer Hops? Actually. And I'll dart every predator in Zootopia. This is some horrible bosses level of thinking. Never play the secret audio condemning your foe in front of the actual foe, lest they threaten to kill you for it. Come on, everybody. Put your paws up. Lady Gakazelle. Immediately regret this decision. But I have something to tell everybody. I've glimpsed our future, and all I can say is go back. Our target is a major transaction of microprocessors. Yes, those. I don't know what they are, you don't know what they are, who gives a f What's wrong? You're acting all skittish. Don't worry, I've been stealing birds for a living since before I could trot. You're a crook, Captain Hook. Judge, won't you throw the book? Hey, hey, no one tells me what I can or can't be. Don't ever tell me what I can't do, ever! Look over yonder. No! Kelly Clarkson!
Carson! Leo, if you're out there, I could use some help. Have the guy with the plan, because I'm smart as